age-related macular degeneration is the leading cause of blindness uh, in the Western countries, in the elderly. It's estimated that there's two million people in the United States that have the advanced form of age-related macular degeneration. So about 2% of the population overall. 250 to 300,000 eyes go blind each year because of macular degeneration. And it's caused by a defect in the specific cell type in the retina. The primary cell to degenerate and die is the RPE cell. The California Institute of Regenerative Medicine, CIRM, and the two grants that we have gotten, Disease Team 1 and Disease Team 3, are really instrumental for the developing of our approach, which is to develop a sheet of RPE, which are derived from stem cells on a synthetic membrane that we place underneath the retina in patients with macular degeneration. And by doing so, we help restore and prevent vision loss in these patients. Retinal pigment epithelial cells are called pigment epithelium because they contain pigment. And it's a melanin pigment, which is a black pigment. And so when they grow in a culture dish, they're black in color. And most people in the past had taken those and thrown them away and said, we've got contamination in our dishes, let's keep away from these. But we decided to characterize those further and sort of develop methods to promote the development of these pigmented patches. And we found that when we were able to remove the pigmented patches and study them in detail, that they were in fact retinal pigment epithelial cells and had all of the biologic characteristics of those cells. The retinal pigment epithelial cell provides a lot of the key functions. It takes the rhodopsin, the pigment that actually captures a light and starts the neural impulses in the retina and actually rejuvenates that. It's sort of a unique situation where a single cell type which forms a monolayer at the outside of the retina is the cell type that's degenerating. It's sort of a perfect example of a cell type that could be replaced. So my role is to devise ways to differentiate retinal pigment epithelial cells from the stem cells, purify them, and grow them as a confluent monolayer, such that I can work together with Mark to make a product that could be implanted underneath the retina and restore the degenerating RPE cells in patients with macular degeneration. This is truly an interdisciplinary convergence. Uh, we ended up putting a unique consortium together and the schools involved, of course, are USC, where this approach is headquartered. Uh, then UC Santa Barbara, which is helping us with the RPE differentiation. California Institute of Technology, which is helping us develop the synthetic membrane. And then also the City of Hope, which uh, actually provides the products that will be implanted in the patients. We're uh, looking at starting this study in 2015. To me, it's a it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's just really exciting to see that go from a, uh, an idea on the bench top to a uh, treatment that could prevent the progression of disease or even recover vision in these patients with macular degeneration. And even if I could help one person, you know, it would make my career worthwhile, make me feel like that I've done something very important. It's, it's that important. Every person is important and their reaction, uh, when you do help them, and what you're able to see what they can do is just amazing.